to all our Jewish brothers and sisters around the world, Happy Rosh Hashanah. We've accomplished so much in the past year, but really in the past 70 years. A few weeks ago, I went to uh, Lithuania for the first time. My family came from Lithuania. There was uh, a thriving Jewish community there of brilliant people, rabbis, scientists, doctors, poets. And on two separate occasions during World War II, that community was taken en masse to death pits, 15 minutes from Vilnius. And they were shot and thrown into these pits of fire. We've come so far. I came back to Vilnius at the head of a, a Jewish state that is looked up to, it's almost revered, a progressive, enlightened, advanced Jewish state that is now being courted by countries large and small. I believe in the Jewish future. I believe in the future of the Jewish state. And as I go around the world in every country and I meet Jewish communities, I believe in the Jewish future. Our people are united not only by common past, but by a common and burning support and reverence for liberty, for pluralism, for debate. That's one thing Jews do very well, they debate. We do it so well. In fact, a few days ago, I uh, met with a group that developed the IBM debater right here in Haifa in Israel. And this debater apparently beats any human debater. Well, we'll see about that. They haven't tried every one of us. But as we debate, we remember our common heritage and our commitment to our common future and our common values of liberty, of inquiry, of ensuring the Jewish future, of contributing to the betterment of the world. And Israel and the Jewish people are doing all that. So I have one request from you, two requests actually. First, reach out to a fellow Jew, embrace him or her, understand that above all our differences is this great commonality. And second, come to Israel. Come for a visit, stay, but first come. Next year in Jerusalem, see you here soon.